First Warning Weather with Chief Meteorologist Aaron Christensen. All right, in case you missed it earlier, this is pretty big news. 83 degrees. We broke the record by one degree set back on this date in 1939. So it has been over 70 years since Tucson has felt this warm on the 17th of December. How about that? Very impressive stuff. And our scorecard certainly showing that 83 degrees, our new record to break. The old one, 82. Our average, 64. That's why I'm saying if you didn't know what today's date was, you probably wouldn't have guessed the middle of December, right? Maybe March or April, beginning of April, that sort of thing. Our morning low, 43. We're typically starting at about 39. Our temperatures now, though, God, you got to love the topography of southern Arizona, right? 37 show low, 61 Wilcox in the 50s in Safford, but 73 in Tucson. Smattering of temperatures here across southern Arizona and at Tucson's airport wind now from the north northeast five miles per hour 73 degrees still pretty dry with the humidity at just 18% but that is also a number that's going to be changing along with our temperatures here as we are tracking a storm system that will move in late this week yeah. I'm going to just kind of let you think about that for a moment. We do have something going on in our skies tonight. Pretty spectacular a conjunction of the moon and Jupiter, as well as the stars of Gemini and Orion. So it'll be easy to spot the moon. Obviously, to the left of that will be Jupiter. Just to the right of the moon, you will find Orion and really a nice cluster or what we call a conjunction of stars and planets. So you'll want to look to the east with the clear skies. Stella's excited about it. She's over there going like that. Yay, conjunction! <laughs> Those lows tonight, pretty mild conditions for viewing the conjunction. 34 in Benson, 33 Douglas, 40 for Bisbee, 46 Green Valley and Oral Valley. And then tomorrow we won't quite make it to the 80s, but still warmer than normal with 78 in Tucson as well as Marana, 75 Oral Valley, 77 Green Valley and in Bisbee. All right, here is the fly in the ointment. This is what is going to crush our temps in the 80s, our record setting heat, this area of low pressure. Although it's not particularly strong, it is going to be enough of a storm system to knock our temps down very quickly and to even bring us a chance for rain. So here we track the transition for you. Thursday, the wind picks up, gusting close to 30 miles per hour. You probably won't know a big difference as far as the temps are concerned, still in the 70s, but down to 56 Friday, and we have upped our chance for rain and mountain snow to 50. 50%. Saturday, 20% chance for those rain and snow showers with a high of just 55. And then we quickly rebound after that into the 60s Sunday through much of next work week. KGA 9 on your side at 6 o'clock. We'll be right back.